Imagine the apostles and the disciples on this Holy Saturday, the one that they had placed all of their hope and trust in, the one that they believed to be the Messiah, the anointed of God, was dead. Jesus, having loved his own, loved them to the end. Jesus, having loved you, loved you to the end, the bitter end. He suffered and he died. And he was laid in a tomb. The tomb was sealed. Darkness surrounded the light of the world. We know that Jesus descended to the dead. He went to the dark abode of the dead, Sheol, there to announce the good news. Imagine the apostles and the disciples on this Holy Saturday, the one that they had placed all of their hope and trust in, the one that they believed to be the Messiah, the anointed of God, was dead. He was placed in a tomb, and darkness surrounded him, and darkness surrounded them. Sometimes we in the church feel like we are beset by a kind of darkness that is very cruel. Sometimes, like the Lord, we might cry out from our cross, My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? The times we live in are not easy times. These are times of great strife, times of struggle. Indeed, the hour of evil has arrived. We do struggle with the powers of darkness. We look at the state of the world. We behold a spectacle unparalleled in the history of creation. Oh, you may say, but Father, many things were wrong. Even when our Lord walked the earth, the world was pagan after all. Yes, and the world then didn't have 2,000 years of Christianity to answer for. We have had 2,000 years of the teaching and presence of Christ. That is no small thing. 